under a very great pressure, of course. It's a very tough situation. They are frustrated, and they are, of course, it's very, very hard for them to know that out on the Internet, but on, not only on the Internet, many people think that they are lying. Um, Mr. Boxer, Mark Stevens, Julian Assange's lawyer, has called this a honey trap. He says dark forces are at work here. Can you understand why perhaps his lawyer and supporters of uh, WikiLeaks would say that considering the revelations that have come out which are, uh, are really devastating to many important countries and people around the world. Yes, of course I can understand that. And that makes me even more critical towards Julian Assange because he knows that that is not the case. And he should instruct his lawyers. He could say, I'm innocent. Of course he's entitled to say that. I've not committed any crime. But this has nothing to do with the WikiLeaks or the CIA or whatsoever. But on the contrary, he's letting his lawyers tell these lies all over again. He knows it's wrong. There are three people, actually, who know what happened, my two clients and he himself. And they, of course, all three of them know. It's an ordinary, unfortunately, an ordinary case of sexual abuse that happens all the time, unfortunately. But in this case, it's even more unfortunate for these two women because they are now looked upon as perpetrators. And uh, people say or think that, they, that there is a conspiracy and a honey trap, as you say. And there is no truth whatsoever, zero, in these rumors. I think one point that, that some people are a bit confused about is uh, why the Swedish prosecution decided to, uh, on the one hand, drop the case in August, and a few weeks later another pre prosecutor decided there was enough evidence to uh, push the case. Can you understand why there has been this confusion and perhaps why people have been critical? Yes, I can understand that, but people who work with law know that different prosecutors as well as different courts can come to different conclusions on the same material because it's not an exact science we're talking about. And Julian Assange has, has said he's willing to be questioned via video link um, in a court in, in, in Britain. Uh, why? Are you insisting that he should be brought here to be questioned? He should be treated like any other else who is suspected of a crime. He cannot have a special treatment just because he's Julian Assange. If Assange had come forward and given a, a, a sexually transmitted disease test or a HIV test, as what one of the women wanted, perhaps this wouldn't have gone as far as it has. Is, is, can you Well, um, Well, in a way, yes. They were in the beginning they wanted to know if there was a risk that they had been infected by HIV. But they also wanted to get advice from the police how to handle this. And when they told the police their stories, the police found that this is a crime. So it, they could not withdraw that. The police were, had to report it further on to the prosecutor, and it's under public prosecution. So even if the two women at that stage, or today for that matter, would say, no, we are, we are not willing to go any longer. It doesn't matter, because now it's in the hand of the prosecutor.